In this video, I present to you my Link Whisper review, as well as a full tutorial on how to use the plugin. First up, what is Link Whisper? Link Whisper is a premium WordPress plugin that costs $67 a year, and it makes it easier and quicker to add and manage internal links across your entire site. So who cares? Why does this matter? Why should anybody like get this plugin or any plugin? Internal links are good for driving SEO traffic. They are. Internal links helps Google find all the pages on your site and understand all the pages on your site. And if you do it strategically, can actually pass authority to different posts and pages on your site, which can help them rank better. In fact, according to Google, the number of internal links pointing to a page is a signal to search engines about the relative importance of that page. The problem is it can be a huge pain to go back to super old posts and add links to new posts and vice versa and manage this web that the Google spider bots have to crawl. That's where Link Whisper comes in to make this process easier and faster. So a few questions. How much does Link Whisper cost? Link Whisper is $67 a year for all the features for one site. If you have three sites, it'll be 97 bucks. If you have 10 sites, up to 10 sites, $147 a year. All of the features are included in all of those plans. So how does Link Whisper work? Well, it works in two ways. When you're editing a post in your WordPress dashboard, Link Whisper is going to give you some suggestions to other pages of your site, other posts that you might consider adding internal links to. By the way, I'm gonna go over all of these features in greater detail in just a second. But the real value of Link Whisper, in my opinion, comes from the Link Whisper dashboard itself right in your WordPress dashboard that is going to show you reports, all the internal links on your site where you can quickly add and remove and change anchor text and all that other stuff, as well as an overall domain report, which you can see all of your export link, uh, external links and internal links and pretty much everything you can also manage right from there as well as a nice error report, as well as a cool little auto linking feature, which is like a one click magic button. It's really cool. I'll show that to you in a second as well. So let's walk through the good and the bad and the ugly of Link Whisper. The good of Link Whisper is that it does what it says it does. It adds internal links. It makes it easy to add internal links to old content, like really, really quickly from a dashboard, as well as just see and remove and change anchor text and just manage all the links on your site. It actually makes that really easy and pretty straightforward and can save you a ton of time. The bad of Link Whisper are uh, maybe one thing. The suggestions are not always great. Now they do have some settings, which I'll go over in a second, that'll make it a little bit better, but it's not a perfect magic one click button. Now I have super SEO juice. It's not that. It's just a supporting plugin. And the ugly of Link Whisper is that sometimes the reports that they generate take a long time to process. I did not realize how long these reports are gonna take. In fact, just while shooting this video, this one like little processing site links thing was taking like upwards of 30 to 45 minutes. I did not expect that. It took a long time. So just know that going into it, go make some coffee and make some breakfast while you run some of these reports. So it's time for the official Do You Even Blog recommendation. What does Pete think? Should bloggers use Link Whisper, buy Link Whisper to help with their SEO? The answer, yes. But the but part is I think you need a general understanding of the power of internal links and how to use them in order to see maximum benefit from this plugin. If you have no idea what you're doing and you just expect a magic button that's going to fix all your internal links and add all the internal links, no problem. And it's going to be super valuable and generate massive SEO. Run. No, it's not going to work like that. But if you do have that general knowledge and you kind of know what you're doing when it comes to SEO and which posts should point to which, yes, Link Whisper is incredibly affordable and makes that process a lot easier. So yes, but is my official recommendation. By the way, a little while ago, I emailed Spencer Hawes, the creator of Link Whisper, to ask for a discount for you, my audience. I will provide a link below this video to Link Whisper so you can check it out. And if he comes through with the discount, I'll make sure to include that information as well. So let's transition to a tutorial for Link Whisper, how to set it up and use it. Installing and activating is really straightforward. You go, you sign up, they'll give you a link to the zip file. You will come install it in your plugins dashboard and you'll have to copy and paste your license key. You hit activate and then you're actually just good to go. So let's walk through adding internal links to a post. Before I go through the main dashboard, how you can do this across your entire site, kind of all at once, 
let's just uh, pretend we were going back through an old blog post like that we wrote ages ago and we want to link to some new post or something like that. I will open up this little post right here. And if I scroll all the way down past the post in WordPress, I am going to see the link whisperer suggested links. There we go. There's a few settings right here. You can only show link suggestions in the same category of this post, which for me is blog traffic. And here we can see what it's suggesting. Now, here's the phrase, the sentence in this post, and here is the post that it is suggesting we link to. Let's see, uh, Heather blog post. It's showing you where the links will be, which we can change, by the way. If you wanted to like change exactly what's linked to, you can actually just click around here. Lots of, let's say we wanted lots of different images. We would just, uh, you know, click on these words right here. There we go, click around. Lots of different images. You can change where the links are at. Or if you want to dive in further, by the way, you can actually hit edit sentence and you can see the HTML right there. So you can just kind of click and choose what you want to be included. You can hit save or cancel, but you're also welcome to just click around. And by the way, you can also custom link right here and choose to ignore this link. Like you don't want to like do this. You can just click ignore and it should remove it. Let's just click that. Okay. I'm going to add that one to my ignore list. I no longer want to link to that post done. And you can always change that in settings. So let's add a link right here and just make sure it shows up. We'll say I want to link, uh, Oh, SEO knows the importance of, well, that's not really a great internal link, et cetera, et cetera, right here. How about this? This is perfect. I have a Pinterest traffic mini course. Anything else is blah, 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 driving Pinterest traffic. So one on, I change what's linked to, I clicked on that word right there, driving Pinterest traffic. I could edit the sentence. I'm going to choose this one. And by the way, you could update multiple and add multiple at one time. You just click and check the ones you want to change. And then you scroll down or scroll up and click update post. It is going to update that link in there. It's going to prompt you to reload this page. So it will reload this section and you should see a post updated. Yep. Post updated notification right here and links have been added successfully. If I go over and check out this post right here and hit refresh, I'm going to search for Pinterest traffic and just make sure it came up. I'm going to hit control F Pinterest traffic. There it is driving Pinterest traffic. You can see it added the link right there. When I click it, it's going to open up my mini course. There you go. One last thing that I didn't notice before is that there is a plus sign right here that will actually give you multiple suggestions to different posts. You could choose. I want to link to this one. I want to link to this one. I want to link to this one, etc. I can hit that and then just hit update. But what if all these internal link suggestions are kind of bad? Like what if I, they're pointing me to random posts or whatnot, you can actually come into link whisper and change the settings. Now there's a few things here. Number one, remember when we hit ignore, you can also change your list of posts to be ignored right here in your settings. You can add a new line, ignore this URL, ignore this URL, etc. You can also remove these of course. Now you can choose to only open internal links in a new tab. You can check that on or off, ignore numbers. I'm not sure why you would, but there you go. Language words to be ignored. This is kind of handy. It did this on autopilot. I didn't put those in categories to be ignored. You can ignore entire categories. You can also filter different post types that you want to create internal links to. Uh, I'm could probably like uncheck courses here, but I want to point people to my courses. I guess I'll leave that unchecked. You can also set the number of sentences to skip. It'll just like skip a few sentences when it's checking. You don't want a link to be in like every single sentence. That would look really weird. So you can like choose three or four. I might even choose four or five just to include less links and hit save. All right, next feature, the links report dashboard. This is going to blow your mind right here. So I'm in my link whisper dashboard, which is nice and pretty, by the way. And they show me some general stats over here, which I really don't care about. Now that Pinterest report that I just showed you, what if I wanted to go back to some of my old content from ages ago, two years ago, one year ago, one month ago, and add internal links to this new post to drive some value there? This is where you do it. You can see a lot of things in this link report right here. By the way, I only have 26 items because I canceled my report because it was taking a long time and I just wanted to get this out there and show you. So there's only like 26 on my post here, but if you let the report run, it should show you everything. So right here, I see the title of my different posts and I see a few things. 
inbound internal links, as in how many other posts are pointing to this one right here, outbound internal links, as in, in this post right here, where am I linking out to, you know, all the other posts? And you can also see outbound external links. You can click on any of these things to quickly view them and you can actually remove them with these little boxes right here really quick. Again, you can see the power of this, like go scrolling through old content. I want to like change some of my external links. I want to remove this link. I want to remove this link. It's not going to actually remove the text. I'm just going to unlink right here, add internal links the same way. So as an example, by the way, you can also filter out different posts, different pages. You can look at your individual categories at a time. If you want to, you can filter that stuff out. So here's that post I was referring to. And you can see a few things right here. You can refresh, you could add edit, edit, add outbound links. Excuse me. You can also export this data. Don't know why you would, you can view the post, you can edit the post, or you can just do it from like right in here. So it says I have two internal links pointing to this new post from this one. And from this one, I can edit this. This will open up in a new tab, by the way, I can view that post. You can also uh, just add one straight from here. So this is going to open up a new page in link whisper right here, inbound link suggestions to this post that I just clicked on. Again, I just clicked on this add button right here and it's going to take a second. There we go. And these are all the suggestions for my entire site that I could choose to link to this new post. So let's just do one, but you could just go through here and see oh, Pinterest marketing. So that's a great keyword right there. This is a how to market your blog, Pinterest, blah, 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 Pinterest marketing. I could edit the sentence from right here. Isn't that cool? Like I could change where it links or whatnot. I'm going to hit save. That's perfect. You could change the sentence from right here. Uh, it's pointing to this other post. Okay. That might be fine. I mean, from this other post, excuse me, from this other post to the new one. So I'm just going to click that and maybe let's do one more. Oh yeah. I definitely need to link to this one because that's the interview with her. So I'm going to click that one too and just click add links. It's going to add two internal links from those two different posts to my new post, the how to market your blog on Pinterest post success links have been added and it's as easy as that. It's incredibly, incredibly fast just to go through here, find these posts to be like, Oh, you know what? This one only has one internal link to it right here. I need to add some more. This one has seven. That's probably okay. This one has one. Maybe I need to add more there. This one only has eight. That's one of my email list building posts right here. I definitely need to add more. Just click that, open it up, add a few links where it makes sense, where it's relevant. You can also change the sentence, change the anchor text and you know, et cetera, et cetera, from this dashboard. And then you're off to the races, my friend. By the way, this Pinterest traffic interview I did with Kate all I actually have here on YouTube in two videos. I will link to those things right there. Go check those out if you're into driving more traffic from Pinterest. Now let's look at the domains report tab right here in Link Whisper. This is going to show you all of the external links across your entire site. It's actually really handy to see all these in one dashboard. Oh, and by the way, of course, you can directly see which posts you're linking to what site. So for example, let's say I run across, this is a good one right here, Google play. I don't want to link to Google play for my podcast anymore. I need to go back and like delete all those, but those are across my entire site. There's so many of them. How do I know where to find those links to update? Well, I would come in here to link whisper. I would probably search by the way, I would search like play. I'm going to hit search and see what comes up. There it is right there. Uh, I have 82 different links from 82 different posts. Uh, as in, if you had one post that linked to it multiple times, this, this number would be higher. You can click this and I can see all of the post <laughs> that I linked to Google play. So I can quickly go edit these from here. I wish I could do it from this dashboard by the way, but they haven't added that feature just yet. I can click right here. I can go in, change my external links, etc. That's actually really handy to see all of your links across your entire site in one little place. So let's talk about the brand new, just added last week, auto linking feature in link whisper. This is absolutely magic. So what if you had this new post and you're like, you know what? I really just want to like add these links across my entire site, internal links pointing to this new post all at once based on a keyword. I'm actually going to grab this URL right here. I'll come back to auto linking, put it in link. What is my keyword? Let's say like start a podcast for this thing. And I'm gonna show you this. 
Uh, this is going to automatically add a bunch of internal links, as many as it can find, quite frankly, based on this keyword to this post that I just opened up. Now, you can choose to ignore this, add a link. If the post already has the link, I'm going to leave this unchecked. You can also only add one link per post. I highly recommend keeping that the way it is. You hit save right here. And oops, I'll add that in again. Start a podcast add keyword. This is going to take a hot second, but you're going to see it's actually going to add links across your entire site all at once. And of course you can come in and edit them or whatnot. Here we go. Keywords, start a podcast. By the way, you can click this to uh, change those settings you already did if you want to. Linking to this post, I added four links across my site. It's actually not a whole lot. I thought I was going to do more. Uh, that I can then come and change. Of course, I can view the post right here. By the way, takeaways to grow your biz. What am I linking to? Start a podcast. I'm going to come over here and just make sure it worked. Start a podcast. There you go. It worked. Start a podcast. Now links back to my new post. And of course, if you want to undo this, you can just hit delete. It will delete and remove those links that you just added. Or if you need to edit them a little bit further, you can just click this button to edit those posts. Isn't that cool? Auto linking to like a new post based on some keywords that you enter. It could be a really, really cool way to just uh, instantly start generating some internal links to that post. This next feature, the error report dashboard, also really, really, really handy for SEO work, managing your broken links, finding and managing your broken links. So you'll run this report. It'll show you a bunch of broken links and not working links. It has a bunch of different error codes, by the way. You can actually filter these right here. 404 would just be straight up like broken links, but there's also some other weird ones. I found, by the way, that Amazon affiliate links tend to register this sometimes, not all the times. So I don't know why. So I'm actually just going to remove that one for now. And I just want to see the broken links here. Here's one. Podcasting, this post right here links to what looks like my affiliate link for Simplecast. And it's giving me a 404, not found, etc. Don't know why. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's not really working. I need to either change that link or whatever. I can actually just remove it from here. I could view this post. I could edit this post to like change it around or whatever. Or I could just click this and boom, delete this link. Done, done, and done. So pretty handy, the error report dashboard. So a little bit of a word of caution. If you are diving into Link Whisper and just adding links here and there based on their suggestions and adding a lot really quickly and clicking a bunch of buttons and you don't fully understand what you're doing, you could actually do more harm than good for your SEO gains here. You need to understand what a contextual link is, make it relevant to whatever content you're pointing it to. You need to basically understand what internal links are, how to use them to navigate your site architecture, et cetera, et cetera in order to best use this plugin. So if that's you and you kind of understand what you're doing, you don't have to be an expert, but as long as you kind of understand what's gonna be relevant and where you need to add links, yes, Link Whisper is gonna make that process way easier and faster and could be easily worth the money. So if you're into SEO and you wanna grow blog traffic and you wanna make more money, or maybe you wanna start a podcast one day, please consider subscribing to the Do You Even Blog YouTube channel. I will also leave some awesome videos right here that are gonna help you Drive more traffic, get better at SEO, learn better Pinterest, and build an online business. Thank you for watching Blog Tribe. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.